Safe Moon Hard Fork and Reverse Split Explained Safe Moon is another digital currency similar to Bitcoin and Ethereum with a couple of key differences. Its creators say they want to fix some of the problems like price volatility that are common in other digital coins. To do this, SafeMoon aims to discourage day trading of its coin and to reward long-term holders by charging a 10% fee on each sale. Half of the fees collected are earmarked for existing coin owners who receive a sort of dividend in the form of additional coins. Hello guys and welcome back to our crypto channel. Today, in this video, we will be discussing current updates on SafeMoon and explaining hard fork and reverse split of SafeMoon. But before we get further into the video, make sure you're subscribed to our channel. Also, watch until the end guys so you don't miss out on any updates. Let's get started. Posted by a Redditor Electrical Virus 4992, it says, Confirmed. No, despite all the posts about it today, there has not been a confirmation that SafeMoon has the intent to reduce the token supply using a hard fork. However, that does not mean that they won't either. Why the rumors? There was a conversation on Discord where someone asked how Papa could reduce the token count. He responded, hard fork. Someone asked if hard fork confirmed. He said no. Someone asked if Papa has a plan to reduce the token supply. He said yes. We do not know what that plan is. The plan could just be releasing all the projects and letting the supply take care of itself, or it could be a consolidation. What does a consolidation mean? Basically, a consolidation would be used to help absorb or reduce the large token circulating supply, CS. This would happen via a hard fork and you, likely, wouldn't have to do anything. Example, if you owned 100 tokens and the company did a 10 to 1 consolidation, you would open your wallet and your token count would be reduced to 10. All this happens without a change in the market cap, MC. MC equals CS times dollar by token. That means that if you owned 100 tokens at 0.1 each, that would be $1. After the consolidation, your 10 tokens would be worth 0.10 each and still equal $1. What would this mean for the project? It would mean that there are less tokens, so supply and demand will have a larger role due to the increase in scarcity. It means that it will be harder for new people to come in and get huge bags of tokens because it would cost more money. If you're early and have secured your large bag, there is nothing to cry about. For those coming to the party late, well, that is how it works with every project, so tough luck for them. They pay more to get in, but that is the point. Will it be harder for me to be a millionaire? No, if you need SafeMoon to move 441,606% to become a millionaire at 0.01, the price will still require the same movement for you to become a millionaire. Remember that MC does not depend on how many tokens move, but the supply and price. If a hard fork happened, despite what others are alluding to, it will not be harder. If anything, I would actually expect it to be easier. Ironically, with an increase in price and decrease in supply, many people would actually start taking the project more seriously and, potentially, cause more people to rush in. Think of SafeMoon as a penny stock. Not too many big companies or rich investors talk about adding a penny stock to their portfolio. Now the price is $10 per share. They can see the validity in the project and add it. Spidey, what are your thoughts? It's as simple as this. I trust the team. I believe in their vision, the project, and that they are hiring the right people to figure out what is best to do about the tokens. If they decide to leave the supply, I believe that the volume will come with the wallet, the buy button, swap, bridges, exchange, and blockchain will be fine and burn through the supply adequately. If they decided to consolidate the supply, personally, this would be super bullish. First off, I love looking at my disgustingly huge bag. I don't know why, but it gives me pleasure. However, what? I haven't seen anyone that is against the consolidation mentioned as reflections. If they consolidate, there is no more burn. The purpose would be to get rid of the need to burn tokens. That means more reflections with each transaction. That means that stop the burn calculations go into effect right now. Let that sink in. Now add to that that people will start taking the project more seriously because the price is a little higher. Add to that that we are dropping projects from now until the end of the year. This would be super bullish in my point of view. Just a little reminder, 1 billion tokens currently is $50 per day at 1 billion dollar safe moon volume. After the burn 100 trillion supply, 1 billion tokens is $500 per day at 1 billion dollar safe moon volume, 50 trillion supply. 1 billion tokens is $1,000 per day at $1 billion safe moon volume. That 1 billion token bag is because of its ratio to the total supply. 
If a consolidation changes supply, that ratio changes with it and should actually put us in post-burn status. Reverse split. A reverse stock split is an action taken by companies to reduce the number of exceptional shares in the market. Existing shares are consolidated into less, relatively more significant shares, bringing about a boost to the company's stock price. Explanations behind a reverse stock split. There are a few reasons why a company might choose to execute a reverse stock split and reduce its number of exceptional shares in the market. Here are the really three intentions. Forestall being delisted from an exchange. If a stock price falls underneath $1, it is in danger of being delisted from stock exchanges that have least share price rules. Being recorded on a significant exchange is significant for drawing in equity investors and sometimes the best way to forestall expulsion is to expand share prices by participating in reverse stock splits. Boost the company's image if the stock price has dropped drastically. If the stock is trading in the single digits, it is probably going to be seen as a dangerous venture, especially if the price is close to $1 or thought about as a penny stock by investors. There is a negative shame connected to penny stocks traded distinctly over the counter (OTC), and now and again the fastest technique to get away from this affiliation and ensure a company's brand image is to engineer a reverse stock split. Draw additional consideration from analysts and powerful investors. Higher priced stocks draw an additional consideration from market analysts, and an ideal view from analysts is astounding marketing for the company. They are likewise bound to spring up on the radars of large institutional investors and mutual funds, a significant number of which have policies against taking positions in a stock whose price is under a base value. What difference does this make to us? In the stock market, if a stock falls underneath $5, it is considered a penny stock, which can have regrettable underlying meanings. Huge investors are more disposed to treat penny stocks as hazardous speculations or stay away from them altogether. Indeed, in the crypto domain, tokens with a price beneath $1 are frequently excused as shit coins. Huge investors are substantially more prone to put resources into something priced at $1 or more with a moderately low supply than something priced at 0.0000001 with an enormous supply. Price Update SafeMoon has been trapped in a descending trend channel since May and has not had the option to break out of it since. Sellers hope to have the high ground as each endeavor to break the potential gain is met with substantial selling power. A delegate consolidation hopes to send SafeMoon price action down once more. SafeMoon price action has been being pressed from the two sides for a couple of days. It doesn't search excessively useful for buyers as the price is squeezed toward the drawback. The extra factor in that the drive is that the 5-day, 10-day and 30-day simple moving average SMA, restricts any potential gain. Without a doubt, there was a break upwards on September 13th, however that was brief and SafeMoon withdrew rapidly back underneath the 30-day SMA. SafeMoon looks prepared for the break lower today or tomorrow. From that point on, it will search for support from the low finish of the descending trend channel. In the event that sellers can push price action even beneath the trend channel, expect 0.0000050 as a definitive low to be tested, as this is the lowest price ever in SafeMoon. Should SafeMoon price action fall for the buyers, anticipate that another attempt should break over the 30-day SMA and test the upper band in the sliding trend channel. Anticipate that that should be around 0.000003. Do like this video. Also, subscribe and share to our crypto channel. Do let us know your thoughts about SafeMoon's hard fork and reverse split in the comment section down below.